square root of m minus 1 times the square root of m plus 1. How can we do this problem? Okay, well, there's two ways you can approach this problem. You can use the FOIL method, uh, first, outer, inner, last, or you can use uh, the difference of two squares. a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Okay, but the bottom line is you need to know how to multiply binomials. These are called binomials uh, in algebra because we have two things here. Uh, this right here by itself would be a, monom a monomial, uh, but two terms put together surrounded by parentheses is called a binomial. So you got to be able to find the product of uh, two binomials. So these are our two options, but uh, this option here, the difference of two squared, you should understand this right here, especially if you are an algebra student, because this is absolutely a must-know formula for uh, factoring. Now, if you are like, oh my goodness, I am totally lost, and you are actually trying to learn algebra, well, you definitely need to check out my, my Algebra 1 course. I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. But it's just, you know, use this as feedback on what you don't understand and what you need to work on. Okay, so just because you don't, you know, you're lost right now or if you're like, boy, you're overwhelmed, well, just use that again, you know, as uh, um, a indicator that, yes, indeed, I need to review this. And you probably could benefit from some full instruction on this material, not like a quick tutorial. But let me go ahead and show you how we can find the product of these two binomials using both the FOIL method and the difference of two squares. Let's go ahead and uh, first talk about the difference of two squares. So if you notice here, if we look at this pattern, we, can, we have an a minus b times a plus b. In other words, the square root of m, if we think of that as the variable a, well, we have an a right here, and the square root, square root of m is also right here as an a. Now, this is just a formula. It's just a value, okay? So the square root of m, well, that's like, we can call that a, and here's the square root of m, we can call this a right here. And then b is just another number, so we have the same number here, one. So we'll uh, call that, uh, or we could think of that as b, and then we have one right here. So it's the same value, right? So the square root of m, minus 1, or a minus b, and this would be a plus b. Okay, so you can see, basically, our problem fits this pattern, a minus b times a plus b. So we have a formula. Again, this is called the difference of two squares, because the difference is when we subtract two things, we have two things that we're squaring, a squared minus b squared. But it happens to be, okay, what we want. If you notice here, uh, we're multiplying these two, uh, two binomials in this pattern, a minus b times a plus b, and effectively this is what we have. So to do this multiplication, all we have to do is just uh, square a and square b. So if the square root of m is a and 1 is b, if we square these two things, we will indeed actually have done, you know, basically the multiplication. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So a squared minus b squared, this will be the square root of m squared minus 1 squared. The square root of m squared is m, and 1 squared is 1. So our multiplication here, all this product, is just basically m minus 1. You can see we barely did any work here. So that's why you want to understand uh, the uh, difference of 2 squared formula, especially when you're dealing with radical expressions and uh, conjugate uh, problems. Uh, it just makes our life a lot easier. But this is not the only way we could have figured out this. We could have used the FOIL method uh, to figure out um, uh, square root of m minus 1 times the square root of m plus 1. And I'm going to show you that method right now because, again, we're still going to get m minus 1. But let's go ahead and take a look at the work. Okay, so the FOIL method is first outer, inner, last. It's just kind of a special way to multiply uh, binomials. So the first is the first term. So this is the first terms right here in each of these respective binomials. So uh, square root of m times the square root of m would be like our f, okay, our first. So the square root of m times the square root of m is the square root of m squared, or m. Okay, so that is our answer right there. So the outer is these terms, okay? This is our outer, so it's the outer terms of the two binomials. So the square root of m times one is the square root of m, a positive square root of m. And now our, that's our O, our I is our inner. So this is negative, a negative one times 
the square root of m. So that'll be negative square root of m. And then L is our last, which would be our last terms. So we have negative 1 times a positive 1, which is negative 1. And you can see here that our square roots of uh, m, okay, this is a positive square root of m, minus a, uh, a negative or minus square root of m, or, base or plus a negative square root of m, is 0. These kind of cross cancel, or they cancel each other out. So we're left with m minus 1, which, of course, is the same thing that we got when we were using the difference of uh, two squares, m minus one. Are you struggling in math because of confusing lessons? Maybe the teacher's not showing you all the steps you need or things are happening too fast. Well, there is a better way. So come on over to my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. There you'll find clear step-by-step -step instruction by me that will definitely make a huge difference in your math success. So make sure to check out all my courses by following the links in the description.